Hello there, welcome to another video by RA Solutions. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is showing you how to use template in Microsoft Publisher 2016. So I'm in Windows 10 at the moment. I'm going to do a search here for Publisher and it should bring up. I've got two versions. One's Publisher 2010, but the latest one I've got is Publisher here, which is 2016. Wait for that to load and it'll load this screen here once you open it up. So what you do have is some example templates that you can choose from here. Um, so for example, you can choose a birthday poster, thank you card, address labels, um, photo albums, so on and so forth. Um, but what you can also do is search for templates online up here. So if I want a newsletter, I could do a search for a newsletter here and it will search Microsoft Online to find a specific newsletter there. On the right side, you've got specific types, um, categories of newsletters. So you've got business types, you've got industry newsletters, you've got email newsletters, marketing, um, so on and so forth. If I go back here, click this left arrow here, it'll go back to the um, main page which I opened up when you opened up Microsoft Publisher. Um, if you want to do birthday cards you can do a search for birthday cards and it will search online for lots of different invitations. You've got cards here, click on the category here, double click on it and obviously that's the one and it will open that up there and that's an invitation card. What you can also do is if I do file new, open up a blank page <coughs> So this is my blank page here. If I go to page design, I can change my template here. Let's say if I've already got a blank page showing, I can change my template here. And I've got a whole variety of different templates. At the moment we're on flyers. If I click on home here, um, you can choose from specific different categories. That's a better way. I feel that's more of a, a better way, easier way to find whatever template you are looking for. So I can choose from brochures, business cards, calendars, greetings cards, labels, newsletters, postcards. Um, if you go down here, I can choose an email template from the email section here. I can choose different types of envelopes, letterheads. Um, I can even import Word documents. So if I've done a template in Word, I can import that in into Microsoft Publisher there using the wizard. But I've also got menus. If I try menus here, click on a menu I've got different types of menus I can choose from so let's say I want to choose the middle one here click on that click on OK here and just click on OK and what should happen there you go that's my template for a menu so obviously once it's printed I can fold it up as a menu and there you have it so that's an example uh, menu for you at the moment it's got a color scheme here um, so it's a luminous green with some blue there and um, what I can do also here is change the formatting the color schemes of my menu um, so if I select a different color you notice how the colors and the color scheme of the menu changes accordingly based on the color scheme I've chosen if I want to uh, make this bigger click on the arrow here expand on here and I've got a variety of different colors color schemes to choose from here for my template. If I go back into page design again, click on change template this time, um, go to home here. Um, again, let's say I want to do a greetings card, click on greetings card. It's lots of different types of greetings cards I can choose from. So let's say it's an anniversary card I want, I'll click on anniversary, click on OK, the bottom right hand corner, click on OK again. And what it will do, I'll open up my greeting card template. Again, if I don't like that color, go to page design to choose a different color for my greetings card there. Okay, that helps you um, start off your document, whatever document you're doing, um, by using these fantastic templates in Microsoft Publisher 2016. So that was a quick video showing you how to um, insert a template into Microsoft Publisher 2016, depending on whatever document you are um, going to do. It's an easy way, it makes your job quicker um, simply because it will, you know, it saves you time from creating that document from scratch. All you need to do then is insert the text 
with whatever pictures you need. Um, so thank you ever so much for watching this video today. Please like, subscribe and share.